Hello, this is Tazalon, and I'm in Mines North in my VK2801, known alternatively as the Orlix Machine for the Lighthouse Anatomy of an Orlix, Volume 3. In this battle, there's one artillery aside, four scouts. Gonna be a lot of fast tanks running around. They got three mediums, including, well, they're all fairly decent speed. Two heavies, three TDs. So they have a lot, or actually they have four mediums, and they're all fast. They have um, a lot of speed on their team. Fortunately, we have the good side, if you want to go to the hill. We have a fairly similar composition of our forces, but we have one less medium. The north side is currently has the advantage to make it to the mine. I don't know why they just don't make it even for both sides. They keep slowly switching it around whenever they change the map. The other side gets the advantage. They should just make it to where both sides have the exact same distance and time it takes to get there. Well that didn't help. But it's actually cool. It's good to be second going in. You go in first and if there's anybody coming they all shoot you. Going in second they waste their shots on the first guy and hopefully you get a free shot back. And here comes RU-251. I'll poop, shoot him, keep going. Oh, don't come over this way. 1390's coming up. I don't think he's loaded yet. I don't know if he can even fire. I don't know what he's doing up here. I'm going to turn around and go back and pop him again. Get a kill. Bam. I do have one artillery, so you got to be careful if you try to snipe around the corner there. That already, a lot of times, if you set up over on this side of the map, can shoot you. So I'm gonna come over here and see if I can catch him shooting. T28 is behind the building, so I'm not gonna have a shot. Don't want to pull out too far because of the either the TDs, well, what would it be left? Just the R RHM. Don't know where he's at yet, but if he's hiding up there and I pull out too far, he'll kill me in one shot. One thing you gotta be careful of when you're sitting up here is people coming around the base of the hill will, will light you up by proxy scouting and expose you to enemy fire. So if you see anybody like this tiger starting to get too close, I'm gonna back out for a second I'll go back over toward the middle opening and see if I can help out over there. Didn't see the already fire from over there, so hopefully he's not set up in a position to to shoot me where I'm going to. Because I just got lit up. I still don't trust already not, not hitting me here. I'm going to move. T-28 is almost dead. I'm going to see if... well. I wonder if he's going to be poking around the building there where I can get a shot. He's backing up. Yes! Kabam! We got two tanks pushing on the Tiger 2 and there doesn't seem to be anybody behind him. Now the RU-251 is going over there. Oh, get the Patton. He's gone. You know, you can learn as much watching how the other people play as you can just watching my tank. I've already popped out of there at least once and the Patton knows I have a flanking shot on him when he pulls up behind that rock. It's a really terrible place for him to go to. He has tanks in front of him. And if he keeps his gun trained on them, that gives me free shots on him. But game after game after game, people will pull up into that spot. Even though they know there's tanks in the middle that can hurt him. Ooh, there's the T-50. E. E-50, I mean. He popped out of there and took a shot at me. He got the better of that deal.
we have people moved up in a position to shoot him if he comes back. So, I'm seeing if I can shoot at that E75, but he's behind the rock. Looks like the RU 251's headed this way too. So. I don't need both he and the E50 popping out at the same time. I'm going to move back to where I can get a shot as they come around the corner if I can. STA doesn't seem concerned about the fact there's a medium and a light potentially coming up around the corner there. T-49's moving around to get in position, so that's good. I'm going to shoot at this guy. Bam, take in front of him. High angle, I knew it wasn't going to get a big damage, but the idea is just to pop him on the nose and get him back up. Now he's dead. Are you 251 still down there? We've had control of the fight for a while. It's just a matter of closing it out. Oops, I gotta back up. He's gonna proxy me, there he goes. And depending on where their TDs and other tanks are, right now I'm, I'm apparently safe because the RHM hasn't fired a shot up that way yet. Here comes the RU-251. But if there's somebody in position to shoot and they do that, you end up dying because of it. And pull out, take this guy. I shoot T49 finishes him off. Man, that gun's big. Looks like a flying saucer with the gun sticking out of it. Now the Tiger 2 is going that way. I'm going to come down the hill. Go see if I can figure out where the RHM is. He has to be up. There he is. 12254 is coming in on him. I'll come up and see if I can flank him. This is an iffy proposition because he has pretty good turret rotation. But I'm hoping he stays focused on the uh, 54. It's like right now he sees me and he's already rotating the gun. It's a matter of do I get a shot off and I don't. But that opens up the 54 to pop him. And he misses, but he's under fire from the other side. Just a matter of time, and there he goes. So, probably not the most exciting film. It's pretty workmanship like Orlix there. They kind of handed it to me. 1390 came up. I don't know why. He was a late arrival at the hill, and he came up into the mines area anyway, and it let us just wear him down really fast, and I got the luck of having the kill shot and then it was just a matter of moving around the hill trying not to stay in one position too long because Artie's still in the game the 28 got severely hurt and backed up just enough where he put his rear wheels behind the building that was sticking out to where I could get a shot on him and then the Patton inexplicably moved right up against that rock which is just it's craziness when you know there's tanks in the mines to come up that far and you're just asking to get flanking shots poured into you and so I got an easy Orlix just because of the way the enemy wasn't paying attention to where they were hard to get an easier one than that and we go on and win the fight 15 to 7 I was trying to help out in the RHM and I could tell in the last like two seconds as I went in I saw him rotating his turret it's like oh well I'm dead I'm going to at least try to get a shot off but he beat me to it so I still ended up 1629 experience three spots 935 spotting damage with three kills 1164 damage and the Orlix if you drive this tank a lot you can get a ton of them from mines north in my Orlix machine. Happy hunting.